Just getting started. A little late this afternoon. It's about four o'clock. Because of the time change, we've got enough daylight to do a nice ride. Now we are gonna go down and find my husband who's gonna hike with us. But he had to park. Easy big guy. It's a bike. It's okay. No, we're gonna let the bike go first. No, we're actually going down that way. Go ahead. And thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. Release the rabbits. Say hey dad. Alright, here we go. So right now, beginning of the ride, Fame is usually eager to go. Sometimes he's a little jiggy. Um, you know, all the sort of quote unquote undesirable behavior type things uh, happen earlier. And so we've been working on, well, I've been working on keeping myself very balanced in the saddle, being very mindful of my cues and also just being really patient and doing a lot of stuff in advance to keep him relaxed. So good job. So rewarding the snorts because that's a sign of a release of tension and I think we're at number three now. So I, I, I play a game of counting the snorts <laughs> and the licks and chews. Uh, but then I, I let him eat before we got started. Um, he had a little bit of bucket of hay pellets that seemed to really keep him relaxed and happy as he was getting tacked up. Um, but inevitably, as soon as I get on, he wants to get going. He doesn't want to waste time. And it might be a little bit of anxiety too. And so I've been doing a lot of reading and just trying to understand how I can facilitate a relaxed horse from the very beginning. You know, at the beginning there's excitement, there's butterflies, there's an eagerness to get going. And that tends to kind of settle the harder he works and as we get further along on the trail. And I really enjoy picking trails that have a really good incline. See, already he's mellowed out a tad. But I find that starting with trails that have a good incline help get him tired uh, physically a little bit and kind of help. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. Number four. Help him relax. The way. Walk. Good boy. I've got just one hand on the reins, loose rein, but I also have enough, um, the reins are short enough that if in an emergency I needed to two-hand it, it's not like I have to pick up a huge amount of slack. Hi, good job. Another thing I'm paying more attention to when we ride is what his ears are doing. So obviously head carriage is super important, right? Because if you've got a really high-headed horse, uh, most likely, unless that is their confirmation, most likely they're very alert, aware of their surroundings, perhaps a little bit nervous, and perhaps needing to kind of settle. And so his head is slightly high, but not, good boy, not anything that bothers me. So what is that, number five? Ah, yes. So periodically I'm watching his ears flick back. Good boy. Good job. So I like that. And I am working on staying very straight and tall in the saddle. One of the things I want to improve this year for myself is my tendency to lean forward. It's, I think, something a lot of us struggle with. <laughs> but when I see videos of myself riding, 
I realize how much more forward I am than I would like to be. And I know for fame that that's either probably feels unbalanced and doesn't help him relax. Also can be a cue for him to go faster. Um, lots of reasons why I want to work on keeping my shoulders back. So yeah, it used to be that you had to worry about cyclists barreling down at you and potentially coming around blind corners and creating a huge safety risk. But this particular trail is now one directional and I don't know if they're planning, good boy, what was that, number six? I don't know if they're planning on keeping it that way after COVID, but I sure hope they do because it's really nice to not have to worry about that. And you can just relax going uphill and focus on your horse and yourself. One thing that I've noticed is there's a lot more cyclists that are wearing earpieces, so they can't even necessarily hear you. And it's, it's a definite safety concern. So, um, you know, it doesn't stop us from going out, but I love that this is a one directional trail here. You're doing great, big guy. You're doing really good. Yes, thank you for that ear. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Look at your head lower a little, too. When I purchased Fane, one thing the trainer who had started him told me is that he responds to praise. And she really made a point of telling me that. Like, that's definitely a thing for him. And, and I have noticed that to be true. And when we do stuff in the arena, it got to a point when we were more consistent in the arena where I could just be whispering and he would adjust his speed. Um, if I needed him to slow down, I could just whisper easy and I would notice a definite change. We waited for my husband. Hello, you can see fame totally settles next to him. <laughs> For a little while, yes. And then he'll he'll be like, dude, you're slow. We don't have all day. But right now, I can already tell he's enjoying having my husband here. And he is intentionally holding himself back because the pace we were going at before was much faster than this. So now he'll fall in line behind daddy and hopefully not kick too many rocks into your shoes. <laughs> We're not allowed to have dogs on this trail, but sometimes we will bring our Frenchie, Remy, and Fame is very respectful of Remy. I was a little nervous about a big horse and a little dog, and of course we're still, you know, cautious and careful, but Fame definitely was aware that he was there and was mindful of him. So one thing that I've started working on on trail more, in addition to sitting up straighter, keeping my legs relaxed, of course, keeping my heels down, all that good stuff, is paying more attention to where my horse's feet are falling as I'm riding. So in my head, I can hear obviously his foot falls, but what can I feel? Can I tell when the left shoulder versus the right shoulder is moving out? And if I were to close my eyes for a second, left, right, left, right, without looking down at his shoulders, getting a feel for which leg is doing what. And it's been nice to be conscious of it because I think it has helped me be more in tune with fame. Easy to guy. <laughs> Come on, let's try it again. It's a half-hearted lope. It's a half-hearted lope. There we go. Good boy. 
Good job. Breathing heavy. We are out of shape, aren't we, big guy? I think that was number eight. Snort number eight. All right, we go back and we, <laughs> ah, we follow daddy again. <laughs> He's all, I'm gonna beat you, man. I'm gonna beat you again. <laughs> you wanna work uphill? Let's work up here. Let's trot. <laughs> oh, now he doesn't wanna work. He's all, we beat dad, it's fine. There we go. Oh, good job, big guy. Hopefully we've got enough distance from these pedestrians. We won't scare them. Ooh, pretty bird. So one thing I was gonna mention, um, ooh, good job. I think that's number nine. One thing I was gonna mention is I know it took me a while to get my confidence back after I've felt fallen off fame twice. <laughs> so both times that I've fallen off of him have been severe. It hasn't been like a, oh man, that sucked. It was like a, oh man, now I have to go get a CT scan and be rushed in an ambulance to the hospital. <laughs> so uh, both traumatic and it, it has taken a lot of work to get my confidence back and especially at faster speeds. And it's something I still struggle with sometimes and if you are in a similar position where you know the idea of doing anything other than a walk on trail is nerve-wracking for you I totally get it and I have found that going uphill kind of those small inclines really help my confidence because um, I don't know for some reason they felt less scary to take at faster paces than a flat straight port portion did or a downhill of course <laughs> you are very comfortable with these signs now huh thanks to covid a-frame signs not a worry need you to scooch over one thing fame likes to do is he, he likes to ride near the edge and i think a lot of times like in that instance that was the flattest part of the trail but he also just has this like morbid fascination with ooh, what's over the edge like he'll walk to the edge and look over it and i'm like dude <laughs> no <laughs> good boy oh look we got what is that turkey wild turkey what is that fame? We've decided that it's not dangerous. I can see in the shadows we got some licking and chewing going on. That's great. All good signs of relaxation. This is one of our earliest water crossings when we first got started on trail. You got this big guy after we did all that water camping. Make me proud. Good boy. Good job. Very brave. When I first got started trail riding with him, one piece of advice that I was given that I think is definitely worth passing along is to do loops as much as possible. So depart from one point and do a loop through a park and come back as opposed to going straight out and then coming straight back because very often people encounter issues with horses knowing as soon as you turn around obviously that you're going back the way they came and that is the way to rest that is the way to home and so a lot of horses will rush home 
and only recently have I started noticing that to be a little bit of an issue with him. We had a ride last month where he rushed home and it was an out and back and he's much less inclined to do that or doesn't do it at all on loops and so I've been strategizing about how to improve that but when you're first starting off you want to kind of set things up in your favor as much as possible and I'm definitely glad that we started off doing entirely loops before we moved on to doing out and backs and now that we are doing some more out and backs and I'm noticing him rushing one of the things that I've started doing is not immediately getting off when we get back to the trailer oh we got some deer I don't know if you guys can see the deer um, and in fact one time we actually trotted circles around the trailer so that the trailer wasn't this reward because that that happens very commonly is the trailer becomes the place of rest because the ride's over and you get off and you're like great that was awesome so at this point now i think we're gonna maybe walk around the trailer i'm just gonna sit on his back and wait for my husband do something so that it's not an immediate reward another thing that we did we came back the following day to the same trail and rather than just going straight out and coming straight back we went out a couple hundred feet came back went out a little bit further came back went out came back and we went out and back probably eight times people in the parking lot probably thought things were something was wrong <laughs> do you want to try this water trough dude I don't know if you'll like this thing this is a weird one I got water in the trailer I don't know if you guys can see it is the weirdest little water trough ever they push that lever back with their nose and it refills but a lot of horses don't know what to do with that so yeah it's not particularly useful but probably easier to keep clean than the big troughs all right itchy face Let's go over here. So he was a really good boy. So we're just gonna do some walking, do some neck green practice. Let's see if we can aim toward that sign. Good boy. And go to the right. Good boy. And then I'm going to ask him to basically go out on the trail again, but it's going to be a psych because I'm going to get off here in a second. Good boy. I know you're looking over at all that delicious grass. And home. Oh, did my legs scare you? <laughs> I always have to remind myself, verbal, lean back, feet out, and reins last. Doing great, big guy. Actually, I'm gonna have you move up one more step. One more step. And home. Good boy. Can you smell that big old tree? Good job. All right, getting off now. You were excellent. Thank you for being such gentlemen today. So, you know, I don't know how impactful that was, but I'm hoping that by not just getting off straight away at the trailer, it uh, minimizes some of the allure of hurrying back home. So we're trying to make that part of our practice too. Oh, big guy. Well, thanks for joining us on the ride today, guys. Hopefully that was more of what you're looking for. Let me know down in the comments um, if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see more of it. Take care.